Hey everyone, how's it going? So, um, in class we've been dealing with a little bit of surface here. We've, we've scratched the surface. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look at combining 3D shapes. All right. So, we went from 2D, we're going to get some more practice at 2D, and then we're going to start looking at individual shapes. And this is just a precursor um, to 3D shapes. And we, we took a look at this. So, what's the big idea of combining um, 3D shapes? Well, wh and what do we have to look for? Well, the main thing... The main thing we need to look out for um, um, is the overlap. And we dealt with this with blocks um, today in class. And we had a block that looked kind of like this. Okay. And we had another block. And when we have an individual block, it has six sides. And each one of them has six sides. But when we put them together, we get something that looks like this. And we actually lose two sides. And we only have ten sides when we have two blocks combined. All right? So we lose two sides to the overlap, just like in this diagram. All right? So... I also, one thing that I want to show you guys is we're going to be dealing with cylinders here. And the surface area equation for a cylinder is, well, the top plus the bottom, which are both circular, plus the side. All right? And we're going to look at this again in class, but I want you to think about a toilet paper roll. All right? And so you can pull out a toilet paper roll. So if we have a toilet paper roll like this, and we're going to pretend there's no hole in the middle. And you can actually find the surface area of the top by going pi r squared. And we can do the bottom again by multiplying that by 2. So that's the top and the bottom, 2 pi r squared. And we're going to add the side. So the side has a height. And it also has, if, it also has a circumference, which is just like if we pulled our toilet paper out of a toilet paper roll, would give us the circumference, so we get pi times d times h, which is the height. All right, And we're going to continue to go over this in class. I just wanted to give you a little quick precursor. I'm going to let you try one of these questions. All right, So let's go down. And I've got two questions, just like what you have. All right, And we've got box. So we're going to start with the one that's in red, um, or on the left, sorry. And we've first thing I want you to do is label your box a1, a2, and A3. All right, so we've got our box here, and we've got A1, and we want to find the surface area of just that surface. So the area of A1 is length times the height, which is 10 times 4, and you'll notice that we have 1 on the other side as well, so we need to go times 2. All right, and that gives us 80 centimeters squared. Now we're going to go to A2. We look at that, our, length, our width is 8 and our height is 4, so we're going to go 8 times 4. And we have another one on the other side, so we're going to go times 2, and we get 64 centimeters squared. Now we need to do A3, which is the top and the bottom of this box. So our length is 10 times our width is 8, so we go 10 times 8. And we have a top and a bottom, so we need to do times by 2, and we get 160 centimeters squared. All together... This box has a surface area of 304 centimeters squared. All right, we've done the box so far. Now we need to do our cylinder. All right, so we've got our top and our bottom. Now, here's the part that you're really going to find tricky, but it's okay. You're going to find some overlap. So if you look at the top of this, and you're going to see in a video that I'm going to put up, um, if you look over the top, you'll see that we can actually... We don't even need to figure out the top and the bottom because it's overlap. If we pull that can off, we can subtract it from the bottom of the can and the top of the can. We're going to do it just so that you guys can see how we do our cylinder formula. So we've got 2 pi r squared, which is our top and bottom, plus our side, which is pi d times h, which is our height. All right? So... We're going to do our 
radius, I mean our top and bottom, so 2 times pi. And our radius there is 3, so we're going to go times 3 squared. Now, remember, squared is 3 times 3, not 3 plus 3. Now we've got our side, which is pi times the diameter. Now, diameter is twice our radius, which is going to be 6. And we also have times our height, which is 7. Now, it's very important to think that the circumference, so the perimeter around the top of our cylinder, is actually the same length as the top of a rectangle. And that's where we have our length, which is our circumference, times our height. So we're going to work that out when we get 2 times pi times 3 squared, which is actually 9. And we work all that out and we get 56.54 plus pi times 6 times 7 is 131.94. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cross out this 56 because this is right under there, right on top of there, and right on there. And the reason I'm canceling the whole thing out and not just half it is because if we pull that can off, we've got the cylinder surface area and the part that it actually covers up of our box. All right. So now we're going to add up 131.94 and 304 together, and we get. One third or four thirty five point nine four. All right, I'd like you to try the one on the right hand side, see if you can get it, keep it all in centimeters, follow the steps that we just did, and give it your best shot. All right.